Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SafeX YouTube channel and this is POCO XC Custom ROM Reviews. This is MIUI Elite ROM 13.0.1 stable version for POCO XC. I know it's long time release but I am making it review after a month like that. And you can see Android security patch is 2022.7.1 and Android version is 12 here based on MIUI 13. And there are some Elite development projects you can check out from here. This is a very good ROM. I am using it for last 4 days now and I also run the CPU thermal throttling test. You can check out here the maximum is 150 and average is 144 and minimum is 109 million GPS which is good. It's throttled to 92% of its max performance which is fine in my opinion. But there are several MIUI based ROMs and there is even a dial area you can see let me there is a call recording feature and direct video call feature is also available in this room no need to worry regarding that let me increase the volume and there is a haptic feedback also which is fine you can check out once you flash around flashing the rom is very simple just flash the latest firmware for poco x i will always recommend to flash the global firmware and then flash the rom zip file and format data and reboot to system this is very simple and very important and use twrp latest recovery and these all the things you get everything is basic here I can, as you can see the swiping and screen refresh rate is fine enough here and i also played call of sorry clash of clans and pubg news trade those are working fine i'll be showing the play gameplay very soon before that i'll start some of the app reviews like drm info you get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the OTT application in HD I mean high definition resolution that's not the problem in this particular ROM even I am using WhatsApp and I have uh, signed in my own I mean my personal email ID now it's working as a daily driver that's fine actually I really appreciate it of this particular ROM it's as good as stock ROM with no bugs like that it is and safety net status you can check out here again it will get passed very soon I will be reviewing the Wolf OS and some some other MIUI based ROM is available I will definitely make it out guys a little bit I was busy couple of months now I am completely ready for this particular videos and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys now benchmark results like and to benchmark you get very good score here you can also check out the app opening time simultaneously and 3,64,095 is the score and temperature raise is little bit higher 4 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percent during this testing which is good in my opinion it's not bad it's great the scores are very good and the actual performance is also very good these benchmark results are shown just to see how the app opening and also compare with certain ROMs this is not actual performance you get in this particular ROM these are just numbers you can see the kernel user is Linux 4.14.190 Puff Surya kernel has been used and single score is 564 and multi score is 1759 which is good in my opinion it should be around 1800 or plus and this is as good as stock arm that's what i say it's very good and security feature you get those things and the game turbo also there and these are the extra features you get in security features you can check out here app lock is given dual apps is given hidden apps you can select manage apps permission auto start battery saver ultra battery saver battery settings if you go here there are plenty of options as you can see now it's based on a little bit of android 12 as you can see ultra battery saver these are usually you don't see in MIUI based custom ROMs but this is the way you will get certain like a USB type of battery saver settings and uh, task center you can customize these things also schedule power on power off time I don't recommend to use that and you get this kind of options cleaner you get whatsapp cleaner boost speed if you install facebook also you get cleaner you can use them or directly clean here from optimizing that and these are some of the cool features like second space finders block list privacy production these are things from android 12 and mio 13 this is the actual mio 13 i can say you won't find it in any other roms if you find also it wouldn't be as stable as this one that you need to keep in mind 
and regarding camera application there is anx camera obviously there is a mio based one you get anx camera i mean the mio camera and the 13 megapixel ultra wide angle everything is working fine no problem regarding that selfie camera is also fine here and if you want you can use advanced settings in gcam as you can see some of the advanced settings like in dark mode you can use the uh, what i can say this astrophotography mode those things you can use from this gcam if you are a advanced user you want something great from your camera you can use uh, this is a snap um, which one the arno build gcam i was always recommending the same as of now we go, don't get any completely available gcam this is the one i have if you have anything you can tell me in the comment section guys you can see smoothness in the ui is very very good and this is a quick settings well here i am a little bit disappointed you won't get any vertical lines of brightness and volume this slider should be in vertical thing and torch light everything is working fine and you will get here data available also and mobile data connection both are working fine earpiece i don't have any problem during calls and this is the most requested rom in my channel also and i have to test very deeply hence i testing it for last couple of days here it's fine really good and gallery also you get plenty of features here no problem regarding that app opening times are also very good and ram management is also very good in this particular rom now moving into settings it's a basic settings here in any rom you find the similar settings MIUI. just you get this elite customization you get some of the like toggles count in MIUI shade you can increase or decrease from your toggle count in expanded MIUI 11 shade you can customize them and screenshot in any app if you want to disable that you can do and charging animation yeah battery life and charging animation let me show first charging animation yeah, you guys can see here it's one of the best i have seen in recent times as you can see you can see the sparkles coming from here up until the above section it's very good in my opinion you can see turbo charging the first charging is already supported and i'm using it from couple of days and i charge multiple times here the battery life is also very good in this particular rom and this is the new state mobile if you go into graphic settings you can see here you get up to light and even max settings are also available in hdr there is a 90 fps option here only these things you get and the gameplay is fine i already tried it even I tried Call of Duty and BGMA also. It's good in this particular ROM. Just accidentally I uninstalled BGMA and Call of Duty I installed in some other mobile the same. And that's why I'm just showing this new state here. It's fine actually and very soon you'll be seeing all the reviews of this Poco X custom ROM straight into my channel. No need to worry, I'll cover everything. It hardly takes two three days to cover all the videos old videos if i have anything left but mostly i have covered you can check out my separate playlist called poco x3 there you can find out videos now moving into game here let me land soon to charge pull and check out and loudness is fine enough this game is inbuilt loudness is very low i tried in multiple devices even if you plug in the earphones this game will give you very less loudness i mean the loudness from the speakers are very less in my opinion this game particularly very chargeable okay guys can check out how it handles the gameplay the graphic quality is fine and frames you can't see exact frames now as you can see there was frame drops as you can see few people recommend it for gaming i don't recommend it for gaming you can still look out abx rog edition if you want in MIUI and aosp i will still go with cherish os 3.6 and carlos 4.0 those are very good for gaming you can look out those videos don't randomly comment down which is best you need to watch the videos then only you will understand how it actually handles the game you guys can see it's a little bit of laggy here it 
it's not playable actually that's how the BGM in this particular MIUI Elite 13.0.1 you guys can see there is enemy roaming around me let me try to capture him okay I'll come back and I'll show some of the basic settings like the fingerprint unlock and the face unlock how it handles here and display settings you get basic settings here you get this uh, refresh rate option up to 60 90 and 120 hertz options are also available in this particular room reading more and those things you will get better options here but I don't recommend those in LCD display and uh, you guys can check out the face unlock and fingerprint unlock and end of this video let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see and there is option press here and now you can see the face unlock as you can see it's very very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock and fingerprint unlock pattern unlock is there this is my review on mio 13.0.1 elatrom based on android 12 for poco x3 slash nfc it's applicable for both the devices and you can see here how smooth the ui is it's fine for general usage i don't recommend for gaming and it depends upon game guys maybe this version of pubg new state is not good or some other games it depends upon game thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now